So welcome to this little video where I'm going to show you how I transfer the line drawing down onto the paper. So I've taken the print out and on the back already, if I just turn it over, I've already taken a soft pencil. I've taken a 4B uh, for this one and I've put some pencil on the back of the print out obviously behind the, the line drawing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it back over and position it where I want it to be, make sure that it's sort of straight and I'm making sure that I've got a nice space around the, the image on the paper so that I've got a nice border at the end. And I'm just going to take some low tack masking tape and I'm just going to tear off just little bits and stick it down. I'm going to put three pieces across the top of the, the design and just gently sticking it to the paper. It is low tack, so it should come back off. So the reason I put three little bits of tape across the top is so that I know that it's stuck securely. And when I lift the printer paper up and down to check what I've um, drawn underneath, I know that it's going to go back down in the same place. If I just put one in the middle, there's a chance that it might warp a little bit as I put it back down. And then when I put it down, I might not get it lined up to carry on with the drawing. So three little bits I find just lines it up nicely and um, I can lift it up and down as many times as I want. So I'm just going to gently make sure that it's down and I'm going to start to go around the lines of the design. Now to do this I'm using a nice sharp pencil. I'm using a 2H for this one. I want a pencil with a, a hard lead on the end so that it keeps a nice fine point now when I sharpen it so that I don't get real sort of chunky lines underneath. I want it to be nice and uh, crisp the lines. And I'm just going to spend a little bit of time going around these lines. I'm not going to put, there's, a, there's actually a tongue on this butterfly and I'm not going to put that in, but I've put it into the line drawing. So I've put it into the, into the line drawing in case you want to put it into the picture, but I've decided to not put it into the line drawing. And so I've done a little bit and if I lift it up, you can see that it's coming out quite nicely um, underneath. So I'm just going to carry on tracing around it. And when I put the, the line drawings that I do, I do put quite a bit of um, sort of information into the line drawing. And if you want it, obviously it's there for you to put it in. But if you don't want it, um, you can uh, sort of leave it out. You can always erase some of the lines afterwards anyway. I'm going to put all these lines in, but I may end up taking some of them out afterwards with the eraser, but I'll put them in. So I'll carry on going around these lines and I'll come back at the end once I've transferred them all onto the paper. Okay, so I've gone around all of the lines and I'm just going to pick up the the printed PDF to make sure and I just keep picking it up and I just keep checking you know little areas at a time to make sure that it's all down there and I just keep moving around. Okay so I'm happy that that's uh, transferred so I'm gently going to take off the PDF and I can use that um, another time if I turn it over uh, you can see that there's still plenty of pencil there and I could just go back over it again if I wanted to uh, use it again um, but that's my line drawing down and we'll move on to adding some colour <laughs> 